There's a new look for Holy Week and Easter Sunday at St. Agnes Cathedral on Long Island. The first phase of a highly anticipated renovation has just been released and unveiled. And new at 5.30 now, CBS News' Jennifer McLogan takes us on a tour in Rockville Center. Wow, this looks awesome. There's so much to love. The symbolic center of the nation's sixth largest Catholic diocese, Rockville Center, historic St. Agnes Cathedral, established 1894, is revealing a facelift. The wraps coming off in time for Holy Week and parishioners getting a sneak peek. It does look very beautiful and it just adds to the uh, spirituality of Easter time. The renovation, still a work in progress, is the first in more than three decades that its one and a half million Catholics here help pay for. So many of you donated. Don of course we have to because this is our life. Temporary wall lifted the curtain down to reveal a new tabernacle area. The gold box that holds the Eucharist is now front and center in the sanctuary over a new marble altar. Below the high vaulted ceiling with a new serene off-white palette replacing the Rubik's Cube domino effect enhancing stained glass windows. The purpose behind a beautiful church building is to help Help us lift up our hearts and our souls and our minds to God. Affecting the 4,000 who come to Sunday Masses here and the millions more who watch on cable TV. A new bishop's chair used by late Bishop Walter Kellenberg. A brand new veneration chapel containing a reproduction of Michelangelo's Pietà. It will open for prayer when the church closes for safety reasons. Now we'll be able to open them, keep them open, um, especially this door. Monsignor Koenig says Easter is a time of rebirth. I think St. Agnes and our diocese will really be experiencing that rebirth of our cathedral also. I can't wait to see it completely finished. Once the entire ceiling is completed, pews will be refurbished, new kneelers, and then exterior repairs, all to be done by Easter of 2016. From St. Agnes Cathedral, Rockville Center, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And until today, weekday services had been suspended for the $4.5 million renovation.